Hello there everyone, happy wedding Wednesday and welcome to the second venue edit. This is my very first venue edit for Portugal so I hope that you enjoy this video. Today we'll be discussing the very best wedding venues in the Alentejo and I'm starting in a place that's not talked about very often because I want to broaden everyone's horizons when they think about weddings in Portugal. The Alentejo is known for its country charm and being the hottest and driest part of Portugal. The summers can get swelteringly hot so I do recommend getting married in the spring or the autumn time if you're considering it. Without further ado here are my top five wedding venues in the Alentejo. First up we have the Posada Convento de Arraiolos. Located in a convent that was built in the 16th century, Posada Convento de Arraiolos is a prime example of restored traditional architecture and modern furnishing. There are gorgeous outdoor spaces, a variety of indoor spaces and it has its own church complete with blue tiling from the 16th century. If you want a venue that's got a little bit of everything, a gorgeous view and a real Portuguese intimate feel then you're going to love this venue. The capacity is 180 guests inside and 300 guests outside. It is licensed for ceremonies and has its own church. It has in-house catering which is highly celebrated and has great reviews. It also has accommodation on site so your guests can also stay at the hotel. My second and third choice are the Mar de Ar Muralias and Mar de Ar Aquaduto. These two hotels are found in the historic centre of Ebra and are characterised by their super modern look. What separates them is that the Mud Armoralius has a view of the Roman wall and has a large greenhouse so if you want that real outside in feeling for your reception you're really going to like this one. Mud Ar Aquaduto is more of an outdoor venue and has a view of the Roman aqueduct. They both have a mixture of old and new and for a more in-depth description of both check out my blog which accompanies this video. Mud Ar Moralius has a capacity of 250 and Mud our Aquaduto has a capacity of 200. Both are licensed for civil ceremonies, in-house catering is absolutely excellent and there is accommodation at both hotels. Next is the Palacio Cadaval. This is also located in Evra and it's built on the ruins of a Moorish castle from the 14th century. This is a gorgeous option if you want the real traditional feel and is perfect for religious ceremonies. Much like the Posada Convento de Arreolus, it has a 15th century church that houses 250 guests and has that beautiful ancient blue tiling. The palace itself has a variety of different event rooms and can house from 10 guests to 400 guests outside. It is licensed for religious and civil ceremonies, it has excellent in-house catering and has accommodation on site. And the fifth best venue in the Alentejo is Land Vineyards. Now this one is extremely modern and unique. It has over 66 hectares of land with a mixture of lakes, olive groves and vineyards. This venue is best characterised by its boutique feel. It's really luxurious and has absolutely beautiful accommodation for your guests. If you're an uber trendy modern couple but still want that beautiful view across the Alentejo then this is the one for you. The venue can house up to 120 guests for seated dinner. This is a reception only venue. It has excellent in-house catering with one Michelin star at their restaurant. It also has accommodation on site. And there we have it, my top five wedding venues in the Alentejo. Let me know what you think of these venues and check out my blog that accompanies this video. The link is down in the description. There'll be much more detail and photographs in there. I hope you enjoyed this venue edit and do let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I'm Olivia, your millennial wedding planner at Newlyweds and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!